Hey dudes and dudettes, I was feeling nostalgic going through some old children of Bodum songs and I thought, downfall, do I have a lesson on that? And I did. There was a couple of things that are old 2014 or 13, I can't even remember. That dude from seven or eight years ago back uh, didn't quite get right. So I wanted to do a remake of this lesson while everyone's uh, still mourning and that awful passing of Alexi Leho, as some of you might know, actually named my son after him. Uh, it's been a rough couple of weeks coming to terms with it, but uh, I hope we're all enjoying his music accordingly. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at the solo and then break it down bit by bit. Alright guys, so like most Children of Bodum songs, from 1998 onwards, we're going to be in D standard tuning, which goes D, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself in tune, and we'll get started. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. We're going to start with this phrase. I'm playing 17, 19, 20 on the second. Jumping to 17 of the first. And then I have a quick whole step bend from 20 of the second string. It's going to go up and down pretty quick. And then I'm going to play 1917 on the second string again. So all together thus far. Then I work into this little shred phrase. I'm going to play it slowly and then I'll uh, explain it to you accordingly. Okay. So it's a relatively simple idea and played quickly. I'm going to just be ascending the first six notes, 17, 19, 20, on the second and first string. Then from that point, when I'm working backwards, I'm going to play 19, 17 twice on the first string. Okay. Then from that point, I'm going to go backwards and forwards on the second string. I'm going to play 20, 19, 17, 19, 20. That's going to sound like this. All together. Then from that point, I work into this phrase. This is really, really fun to do. So I've just gone backwards and forwards on the second string. Then I'm gonna use four fingers on the first string playing 17, 19, 20, 22. So my pinky's getting involved now. As soon as I hit that pinky note, I'm going to reverse that back down to the 17. So I'm going to go like this. To finish that, 20 to 19 on the second string. That's the first half of the section. So we're going to have this is the shred. Hopefully that's making sense. I'll play it all from the start now. Hopefully that's making sense. We're gonna borrow the first three notes now. 17, 19, 20 on the second string. And then we work into this diminished sweep idea. So it's gonna take place across sort of two five note shapes. There's a bit of a, a um, position shift there, not very much, just one string and one fret. But I think it's good to kind of keep that in mind when you're playing it. There's also some picking things that I wanna talk about. So I'm gonna do a pull off from 20 to 17 on the first string. And then I'm going to play 19 of the second into 20 of the third. So I'm going down, pick, up, up. Down, pick, up, up. Then from the first string, I just go through a straight sweep there. That's playing 17, 19, 20 from the first to the third. And I pull off that last note. Hopefully that's making sense. And then from that next point, that's where I've got the position shift. I'm going to be doing a down pick now. I'm pulling off 16, sorry, 19 to 16 on the second string. Then I'm playing 17 of the third into 19 of the fourth. At the end of that, just all ups. 
I'm playing 16, 17, 19 from the second to the fourth string, eventually pulling off to that 16. So all together. At the end of that, we're gonna do this. So I'm playing 19, 20, 17 on the first string twice, on the second string twice. So I go. And I'm just gonna hit that 17 again uh, before the second section starts. So let's go right back to the start of the section, play it again relatively slowly, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. All right guys, let's have a look at the second section. It's gonna start very similar to the first section, which is this. Just after the whole step bend, I'm gonna end on 17 of the third string. Okay, then we work into this phrase. Very neoclassical, uh, bit of the Malmsteen vibes here. I'm gonna be starting from tw 12 of the first string. And I'm gonna be working in 16th notes or semi-quavers in four note groupings. So I'm gonna be playing 12, 8, 10, 12. Then the same idea, but from 14, 14, 10, 12, 14. Then I want to play 15, 12, 14, 15. 17, 14, 15, 17. Then from 19, I play 19, 15, 17, 19. Then from 20, playing 20, 17, 19, and then 20 again. So I think there's six groups. Two, three, four, five, six. So you can think of this as a four, four bar and a two, four bar or one, six, four bar, but it's going one, two, three, four, five, six shreds there. At the end of that, I work into this phrase. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six notes here. I think there's uh, four of that idea and then a little change at the end. So what I'm doing nice and slow, I'm playing 19, 20, 19, 17, and then it plays 23, 17. And that's a six note grouping. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do that idea four times in a row. At the end of that, so instead of doing uh, the pinky note on the fifth group, I'm just ending on a very, very slow semitone bend on 19 of the first string. So that's gonna sound like this. And that's it. So all together thus far, let's have a look what we've got. Six mini shreds. Four of the next group. And the fifth group with the band. Hopefully that's making sense. And I've got this really fun uh, descending lick, which is this. So let's slow that down. I'm starting from 24. I'm playing, what have I got here? I've got 24, 22, 20, and then 19. So once again, we're gonna be working in groups of four semi-quavers or four 16th notes, whatever continent you're on. So we're going, then I'm gonna descend from 22, 22, 20, 19, 17. Then I play 20, 19, 17, 15. 19, 17, 15, 14, which is, Then from there, 
That one's changing strings now, so I'm playing 17, 15, 14, then 17 of the second string. Then from that point, I'm playing 15, 14, then 17, 16 on the second string. So I've got... Then after that, I'm going to resolve on that delicious harmonic minor note on uh, fret 16 of the second string. So just that last shred. And that is all of this section. So let's go right back to the start plate again relatively slowly and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. Almost on with some tabs. Guys, let's have a look at the last section. This is very classical uh, sounding. If the others weren't, this is very much so. So I'm going to start off with this E minor arpeggio idea. Or in standard tuning, that is. I'm starting from 14 of the fourth string. Then I'm going to play two 15s and two 12s on the first string. Then I want to play two 16s and one 12 on the third string. So I've got a string skip there. So all together, the first arpeggio and then I work into this so this one instead of having the kind of root note there I'm starting from the minor third and that's I guess what would be an A minor so we're sort of going if we're in a standard tuning that is I'm not quite modulating to this D tuning apologies for that so I've got uh, 17 is my starting note on the third string and then this phrase is exactly the same as what we had in E just over here from the 20th fret. So I got two 20s, two 17s on the string skip, two 21s and one 17. So all together that's going to sound like this. Okay, then I work into this uh, backtracking phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going to play 19, 17, 15 on the first string. And then I'm going to do it again, but add a fourth note. So I've got a group of three and a group of four. So it's jumping to 19 of the second string. At the end of that. So what I'm doing there, jumping to 19 of the second string, and then I want to play uh, 15, 17, and then hit 17 again with a bend on the first string. And that's a whole step. So all together, That's all of the first little chunk. So let's put it together slowly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow those first two arpeggios again. And then work into this last shred. So it's pretty straightforward, I guess kind of using the G major uh, three note per string shape. So uh, relatively linear in my opinion, just as far as what's happening within that scale. I'm playing 17, 19, 20 on the second string. Then I'm playing 17, 19, 20, and then reversing that 19, 17 on the first. Okay, then when I get to the second string, straight descend down the scale, 20, 19, 17. Third string is gonna play at 19, 17, 16. And then the fourth string is going to be the same, but slow down a little bit on the 17, 16. So we've got... And then at the end of that, resolving back to that 17. That's the whole section and whole solo. Let's try that whole idea again from the start of the section, nice and slow, and then we'll do it again, even slower with some tabs.
song with some tabs. And that was my redo of the Downfall solo from Children of Belgium's Downfall. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want tabs to this lesson and anything else that I've done, please click the links in the description box to join up with the Patreon with all the cool kids. Also have four books out now. That is right. I have Creative Shred Guitar Exercises, my most recent book. If you want to up your shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping to a ridiculous degree. If you want to start from something a little bit more rudimentary, you can check out my first book, Ultimate Shred Machine. Also have another book out about modes, Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, if you want to up your understanding of the seven modes in a composed and improvised uh, context. And then lastly, my third book, Shred Guitar Improvisation, if you want to up your understanding of uh, chord changes, sequences, even composing solos, there's a bunch of great stuff in there. And if you're not much of a reader, all four of those books are available in a video course format on chrissuper.com and Udemy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll catch you all very soon.